Hey everyone, Kathy the Vegan Prepper here bringing you my September Azure Standard Haul. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Do 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 do. Vegan Prepper. Do 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 do. Vegan Prepper. All right, so here is a general overview of the whole thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get started with some of these big bags right here on the floor. We've got two 25 pound bags of black beans, just continuing to add to our stores. Uh, two 50 pound bags of hard red wheat. Um, this is because it seems like everywhere I turn right now, I'm hearing about wheat crops and problems with grain crops in particular. And so I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and stock up on these red wheat berries. I do have a grain mill so I can grind my own flour. It's not the funnest thing to have to grind all of the flour for all of the bread, but if I have to, I will. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just stocking up on that. And it's kind of, it's still incredible to me that a 50 pound bag of hard red wheat is still only $30. Like to me, I feel like that's an incredible place to start if you're able to, if you can tolerate gluten um, and while you still can, and if you have the ability to use it, you know, you can also cook it up like a rice. You don't have to just make bread with it. But yeah, it's an inexpensive grain. It's fantastic to have around and it's got a shelf life of 20 to 30 years if you store it in oxygen free environment. And so these two are going to go into big mylar bags with oxygen absorbers to keep them ready for whenever it is that I need to use them. And then coming over here, I've got a 25 pound bag of spelt. So it's just the same sort of thing with the wheat. Again, I just hear, I've been hearing all over the place about grain crops not doing well. So even though I do already have probably, you know, 18 to 19 pounds of spelt on hand still, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one just to make sure that we still have it. Um, another 25 pound bag of garbanzo beans. Um, just again, keeping our stores up. Another 25 pound bag of green lentils. Uh, just adding to the stores again. Um, two pounds of chia seeds. We're almost out and I decided to go ahead and buy it through Azure Standard. So one of the main things I love so much about them is how many of their items come packaged just in paper. So like all of these are just, you know, in paper. And so that's recyclable. Actually, we also will use it outside to line our garden and do wood chipping over top and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's just fantastic. I really love shopping with them, especially their branded items like this typically just come in paper and I really, really love that. Um, so chia seeds, great for omega-3s. If you don't have any flax, they also work to grind up as a binding egg. Like you can do a chia egg instead of a flax egg in your baking if you need it for your uh, vegan recipes. Only I use maybe about two thirds the amount of chia to flax because I find that it gets um, it gets very hard. Like to achieve the same kind of consistency of the flax, you need a little less chia. Uh, so anyway, that's handy. Um, and four of these containers of these large baking cups, I, I love these baking cups. Um, for me, I feel like the If You Care brand of parchment paper is the brand to have for vegan baking because a lot of times, well, like I was just talking about here, um, you're using chia eggs or flax eggs, quote unquote, not real eggs. Um, and then there's not enough binding. And a lot of times vegan desserts can be kind of folly a party. <laughs> like it just happens. Um, sometimes they're really good, but every now and then you get a recipe that just does not hold together well. Um, and so these are fantastic because regular muffin cups will just rip a lot of stuff apart, but these guys will just usually peel right off. And, and so I really love these. So this brand, I'm a super loyal customer to this brand now. Anyway, I just needed more. And these are also compostable as long as they're not super oily. But if you do all, you know, oil-free baking and cooking, then you don't have to worry about that anyway. And you can just compost them. This is the giveaway. <laughs> For any of you who know, I do a secret giveaway in every single one of my Azure standard videos. I'm going to go ahead and, um, just discuss the details of how to enter at the end. But this is um, a pretty good green tea uh, matcha. I love matcha. I have recently quit caffeine um, almost completely. I don't do it daily by any means, but now when I want a caffeine hit, I tend to do matcha and there is a major difference um, in the way that it makes you feel versus coffee. Now this is not, you know, a ceremonial grade matcha by any means, but it is still quite delicious. And I chose the one that has rosehip in it 
because that comes with an extra hit of vitamin C. And just with everything going on right now, I just want people to be healthy and safe. So rose hips are fantastic for vitamin C immune support. And so whoever gets this will hopefully have um, something that will help make them feel good and keep them healthy and strong. So like I said, I'll add details of how to enter at the very end. So I've got two 16 ounce bottles of lime juice here. And it's funny because I also have eight 16 ounce bottles of lime juice right there. And so basically what happened here is, uh, I guess this is what happens sometimes on Azure Standard, you have to kind of play a game. Like there, I think there were only like 17 of these left when I put them in my cart. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but there was like, I don't know, like 400 of these singles, but only a few of the flats. And I was like, well, I really still wanna get some extra lime juice um, to add to my stores. Again, like last month I mentioned, um, it's possible that we're gonna have citrus shortages. Um, I don't know for sure, but the, you know, these things keep on the shelf for a really long time. I'm not trying to like scare anybody. This is just kind of my thought process and it's really handy to have. Also the price of citrus in my area has been kind of skyrocketing and it is way cheaper to buy it bottled at this point than it is to buy fresh. And so this is also about saving money and just stocking up. And I do love me some fresh limes in my pico de gallo or on my tacos or whatever, but this brand is actually pretty delicious. It tastes very good, like it tastes very good. Um, and so this is just like a little drizzle on top of stuff. Instead of using a wedge, I just use like a little spoonful and it works for now. Um, so yeah, that was just a funny thing where I ordered both and I got both. So, Hey, I'm not upset. Like that's fantastic. I'll add it to my stock. Um, and so it worked out for me, but that was just one of those things. I went ahead and ordered two singles just in case I didn't get the flat. Cause every now and then on Azure standard, you won't get what you order. If other people order it, it's just the way the inventory system is set up and you just have to kind of know that going in. All right. And now here is uh, two pounds of cacao powder. So it's just, you know, cacao powder for various baked goods and stuff. Um, back here, I'll go ahead and do the back here thing first. So it was a flat of, uh, unfortified unsweetened soy milk. I like to use unfortified plant milks as much as possible, uh, which might sound strange, but we, we, you know, we do our, we do our vitamins. We do our vitamin D, our B12 and our iodine are the main, um, supplements that we take. Um, and I don't feel like I need my plant milks to be fortified. Also, I have a little three-year-old, um, and I don't know how much of that she should be getting in her system. So I prefer if I'm buying a pre-made plant milk, I want an unfortified one. And I do really love soy because even unfortified, just one cup has nine grams of protein in it. Sorry that it's super unclear. And it's also got 10% of your iron. And it's got you know a tiny amount of calcium, but that's unfortified just because of how healthy soy beans are. Um, there is a lot of question about soy. Um, I don't want to get into it right now and make the video super long, but there's a lot of newer studies suggesting that soy is protective, especially to girls um, with breast cancer and later in life. But just in general, it does not have an effect on hormones. This is just false information. I can link down below to some... Um, uh, nutritionfacts.org videos sort of talking about that. It's, it's a bean. People have been eating it for thousands of years and yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you can say the samurai were not manly. Okay. So <laughs> let's just like move on from this whole soy thing. So anyway, um, I also bought some gallons of things here. <laughs> This is a gallon of blackstrap molasses. This is just to have on hand. Um, it, it's a forever food. According to some sources, according to some sources, it is not. So in case you haven't ever seen blackstrap molasses, again, it's so blurry. I'm so sorry. Um, let me see if I can get it to, oh, there we go. Um, so just one tablespoon has 25% of your iron, 15% of your calcium, 8% of your potassium. So this is a very valuable thing to have on hand. Um, especially for vegans <clears throat> in kind of a long-term issue. Um, I just, just want to make sure that we have some on hand. And then also just for general cooking, making barbecue sauce and things like that. It's delicious. A gallon of red wine vinegar, which I got because I'd like to do some canning. Specifically, I have a recipe for canned um, red onions. But the thing is, <clears throat> this vinegar does not have the acidity listed, which is somewhat of a problem. Um, I did call them and ask them if they know what the acidity is, and I haven't heard back yet. So typically red wine vinegar is 6% acidity. You need to have at least 5% for your canning. 
So hopefully eventually they'll start putting that onto the labels, but apparently I'm supposed to get a phone call within the next week or two with the information on that. And as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. I also got balsamic vinegar because that is my absolute favorite vinegar for salad dressings and just various things that we do around the house. And I decided it's time to go ahead and get myself a gallon of it because we go through it pretty fast. Um, and then another gallon of apple cider vinegar. Again, it's just super handy to have on hand for so many various things. I, I don't know. I just thought I'm going to throw another gallon of apple cider vinegar in my cart because why not? Um, a three pack of the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Sorry, I'm avoiding black beans on the floor right now. Um, so just to have stock of some of these on hand, I do have a, already like, I think four or five of these on hand, but it's just kind of one of those things sometimes you don't really think about. And I was looking around and realizing, you know what, we're like low on soap and I need to make sure I have plenty of good soap on hand. Uh, again, it's just one of those things you, do you think about stocking up on your soap? Do you think about stocking up on stuff like that to make sure that you have not just your food, but your other, you know, kind of hygiene needs covered and whatnot. So yeah, I decided to get that because it's a good natural soap. It's not harmful if we needed to be washing outside around the garden or whatever, it's not harmful. So I wouldn't pour it directly on my plants, but like generally speaking, it's not going to be anything that's going to hurt anything if you have to be, you know, washing clothes and dumping it into the, gr to the grass or whatever. Um, <clears throat> at least as far as I know, if somebody knows more than, better than me about that, let me know. Okay. Three more flats of that ramen, you guys, <laughs> if you watch my videos at all, you know that pretty much every single month I get more of this ramen because I don't know what it is. This ramen is like the best thing for our family. We love it. We go through it. It's just so handy to have, you know, instead of fast food or, or whatever. And I do have my own instant meals, but... <laughs> Those tend to get put aside for like more long-term stuff. And these are like what we grab, especially my daughter. This is like her favorite food on earth. Sometimes she won't eat anything and she'll eat this. And we put a bunch of tofu in there and make sure that it's pretty nourishing and whatnot. But she really does love it. And, you know, we love it. It's a super handy thing to have on hand, especially if you're feeling tired or whatever. You just grab something. You guys know how handy it is to have instant stuff. And then, wait, did I mention my buckets? I got buckets. Two more five-gallon food-grade buckets. Um, last time I ordered them, they weren't there. They were there this time. So yay, I get to finish my shelf. I'm so excited. Um, and then the very last thing that I ordered this time was, <clears throat> excuse me, a flat of Ezekiel, um, tortillas. So these are vegan. They're actually also, um, oil free, which makes me so happy. Um, and so I had ordered some frozen tortillas before and I can't remember what that brand was. We still have some left. I do love them. They're great tortillas, nothing against them, but I made the absolute rookie mistake. I was like, how long have I been doing this? I saw whole wheat and I just thought, oh, it's whole wheat, but it turns out it's not whole wheat. It's got white flour in there. Of course it does. Cause unless it says a hundred percent whole grain or whatever, you know, then it will have white flour in there. So there's nothing against those other tortillas. But I decided this time to go ahead and go with the Ezekiel 49 ones, even though they're a little more expensive. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're also oil free and 100% whole grain. And I got 12 of them. So at that price, it's way cheaper than I can get these in the store. Um, so this was an incredible price on Azure Standard. Um, and so I'm really happy that we have all of these. And I'm going to go ahead and toss those into the freezer and just pull them out as needed. We really have enjoyed doing wraps and quesadillas, although my son says, you can't say my son who's bilingual in Spanish. And he says, you can't say quesadilla mom, because there's no queso in there because <laughs> we just do it with refried beans. So now I don't know what we call them. But anyway, they're not quesadillas. They're frijol ideas, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's go talk details on the giveaway. Okay, everyone, let's talk giveaway details. And as you know, if you've been around at all, you know that these are secret giveaways because I don't like advertising them, even though I know that that would be a better way to get more viewers. I like for it to be for the people who are already here. Um, and so that's why I do it the way that I do it. It's this weird secret covert op thing that we do. <laughs> <laughs> secret messages and stuff on YouTube. And so this is basically how it works. Leave a comment down below, anything about the video, anything at all. Um, make sure that your notifications are turned on and that you can receive notifications when somebody replies to your comment. This month, we're going to change it up. And instead of only replying to the winners on a certain date, 
I am going to respond to every single comment that comes on this video. And that is so that every single one of you can make sure that you are receiving the notification that somebody has responded to your comment. That being said, today is Wednesday, September 1st, 2021. On Wednesday, September 8th, 2021, I will respond to your comment and the code words, I'm also going to start using code words so that people are not like thinking, maybe I did, maybe I didn't respond to them. This month, the code phrase is going to be, you're so amazing. So on the 8th, if I respond to your comment again, and in the comment somewhere is the phrase, you're so amazing, that means you won. And if you won, send an email to this email address with your address, and then I will mail out your matcha. Hopefully that is clear. It's like, like I said, these are, so, it's so complicated and I don't know if it's even worth it to get these silly little prizes, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, especially this one. I, I really like this one. Now I'm like bummed. Like I should have ordered one for myself too, but no, I only ordered one for the giveaway. I have another one of these that I got that was matcha and peppermint and it was really good. So anyway, yeah, I guess that's it. So hopefully that's clear. Um, and like I said, this time I'm going to be responding to every comment at first. And again, that's just to make sure that you get notifications because it keeps happening that I keep responding to people and then they keep not responding to me and I have to go pick someone else. And I feel really bad for those people who miss the giveaway because I don't really have any way of contacting them. This is not like Instagram or whatever. There's no DMs here where I can like contact you directly. That's why we have to kind of do it this weird covert way. So anyway, I guess that's all. And hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me because I'll go ahead and answer this time. But on the 8th, if I tell you, you're amazing. You're so amazing. That means you won. So anyway, hopefully you liked that and it was helpful. And as always, I hope the rest of your day is good and your life stays wonderful. I really mean that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.